thank you for your for appreciating this pro project and f uh, actually we are in a finish of uh, this uh, beautiful master class uh, that we have uh, last couple of days with uh, Sonia Antinori, dramaturgist from uh, Lecce Academy, yeah. well, from Italy. Uh, what was going on? Uh, the invitation was for um, for a student so for, uh, drama, uh, from the dramaturgy class, but it was open for everybody. Uh, the main topic of these master classes was, um, uh, climate, change. climate change, I'm sorry. And uh, through the process uh, that Sonia Antinori uh, went through with uh, our students, uh, we today, we are today here to uh, present works that our students made. Uh, I must ch say that uh, these kind of projects are uh, very useful and valuable for our students and for uh, people that are uh, writing, that are going to be uh, playwrights, screenwrites, and uh, this is something a bit different that we have in a common uh, 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 pr school program. So. Uh, we thought that it would be good to present this master class right here on uh, Faculty of Dramatic Arts at Cetinje. Uh, so, uh, at the beginning, I, I want to ask Sonia uh, about uh, motivation for this project, about uh, uh, achievements that you have uh, during this project, I must say that uh, that uh, uh, Cetinje is actually third uh, master class that you that you have at the Balkan region. Uh, uh, so, project is basically uh, communication with uh, uh, theaters and uh, and students uh, around the region and Italy. And I would like uh, at first to thank you for all these days and for your patience and uh, to ask you these questions and of course uh, some small, uh, uh, some, some of your small words about whole project uh, and project in, in general. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for inviting me, thank you for introducing me into uh, the landscape of Montenegrin theater, which I didn't know until now. Uh, well, I started to come, as I told you, uh, to the Balkans really uh, decades ago because I came after the Bosnian War for the first time. I have still with, with me my, ri my ring from uh, Sarajevo since uh, so many years. It was 96. And so it's like um, coming back, it's like to understand more about uh, a region, a geographical and cultural and somehow soul <laughs> region, region of the soul, uh, which is very interesting uh, for me since, uh, as I said, many years, and which is still uh, plenty of uh, mysteries and uh, of things I would like to understand more and more. Uh, this was also here the case because I was... Uh, um, like in an exchange with uh, young colleagues. I hope they will um, become really colleagues in sense of playwright and screenwriter and, and so on. And also that I appreciate a lot this uh, kind of uh, melange, this uh, kind of uh, mixed group. Because in Italy, for instance, uh, we uh, are... Um, used to work in more sectorial. So if you write for theatre, you write for theatre. And it is very difficult to do that because we, it is a bigger country, uh, a lot of possibilities. G uh, money is uh, um, uh, not so big. Yeah, always a problem. Uh, we are not Germany, we are not France, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we, we know the problem. So you have, uh, we have really to struggle to to go into this, uh, let's say, sector. And uh, television and film and uh, publicity or, uh, um, are very, very different. So uh, the sectors are separated. They would say that if you want to make film, you have to go to Rome. If you want to make an international theater at excellent level, you have to go to Milan. 
so which is really already saying a lot about our country. But here, uh, the fact that this country is not so big and that this is so concentrated also in this university and probably uh, and another one you told me the name, I am so sorry about my uh, uh, <laughs> difficulty to, to repeat names also of cities here, I am not, not yet. Uh, yeah, but you told me another one probably. Well, but God, it's okay, but... Well, this uh, uh, fact uh, make possible that you can be here very concentrated and work and know each other and understand the differences. And we were also like uh, designing this uh, workshop because of the presence of different profile of participants. Because for instance, uh, Sergei is uh, already well uh, trained in theatrical writing, in play writing. Uh, but uh, for instance, uh, our friend Anya and um, uh, Yaksha uh, or Mirko, who came for the first days and then he had an allergy, and now <laughs> with this season change, it is, was a bit difficult. Um, they are more in the film. So it is very interesting for me also to understand how it is going on, uh, the, like the concept, the idea, the first steps of writing for a, a screen. Uh, writer and how it is for us. We are jumping into dialogues uh, really w without shame somehow. And for them was more difficult, but they, uh, they can add some value because they can teach us how to develop uh, a, a sort of subject and then treatment and so on. So the different steps, very interesting exchange. To go back to the beginning of our project, Yes, um, well, I uh, was called, it's not uh, it's a pity, but it's not my idea to start this work because we uh, have to say uh, thank you to Franco um, uh, Ungaro, who is a very big expert of uh, Balkan uh, in sense of culture, in sense of theater and so on. And he was eager, he's uh, living in, and working in Lecce, and he was eager to uh, like, uh, uh, build a bridge between uh, our coasts around Adria. So, for instance, my company is also a, um, a partner of this project, Malte companies settled in Ancona. You know that uh, Lecce is in the south, and in Puglia. Uh, Alibi is another par Italian partner, is settled also in the same region. And then we have another partner, it's Mittelfest, and it is settled in the, in the very northern part of Italy, in Friuli, Venezia, Giulia. So it's like the representation of the whole coast, from the south to the north. Uh, and uh, Franco was thinking to um, dedicate this exchange uh, to the topic of climate change. And I was uh, very impressed by this because it is the first time that I am working consciousness, uh, with consciousness about this issue. Uh, all, of course, it is uh, in, in, like uh, impacting uh, the, 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 the lives of everybody here because, uh, you know, uh, when I have to think about that in my, in my um, city at the moment, in summer, we need to open um, air conditioning or not, but we have also to be able to survive to this 40 degrees temperature, or if I am making theater with migrants from uh, the center of Africa coming because the land is not more uh, useful for them, or, or, or I have to be uh, in, in relationship with this, with this issue. And I would add a very personal view on it. In this moment of the history of humankind, when we don't know anymore what it, what it means, say the truth, I am of course talking about uh, fake news, propaganda, conflicts going on and uh, spread um, through uh, the old the, 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 the European uh, area, but through the, the throughout the world, we need something where we can be unit. Because I can have my position politically 
he can has, have his position, we could have conflicts. But there is one thing which unites everybody and is we are on this earth. And we have to survive on this earth. And we want to have children or nephew or, you know, we want that humankind is going to carry on. So it doesn't make any sense to say, I am a leftist person, yes I am. <laughs> uh, I, I am from, I belong to the other side. Now in Italy we have, you know, a, a new government. It is very difficult for me to, <laughs> to deal with this. But I think everybody should understand that we breathe the same air. And theater is a very important, uh, like, um, yeah, field, platform for this. Because when we are in theater, we are all together breathing the same air in the same moment. And this is the reason because theater has and had to do with ritual. This is a moment where we understand that if I have a, like a heart attack here, <laughs> you will have to help me or I could do it with her. Or, you know, we are here and we are all equal. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, make any sense to stress that I am here now the responsible for the masterclass or you are actresses and could be the star of the, of the future or that he can, could uh, be the playwright, uh, uh, the, 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 the main playwright in the Balkan region or even in the world. We are human beings with our potentiality, with our difficulties, with our fears and here we have to look at each other in the eyes and understand that we are in the same, on the same stage, as Shakespeare said. These are the, well, I don't know the, now the, 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 the quotation in English, neither in Italian <laughs> nor in, in, in Montenegrin, but on these plates, we play the world. So, now we play the world. Pravičin. Kasne 50-te, Sjeverna Crna Gora, prva scena. Na proplanku kraj sela, Petar i Nikola, koji imaju 10 godina, igraju se loptom. Božica, koja ima 8 godina, sjedi i posmatra ih. Zašto ja ne mogu da se igram sa vama? Ovo nije igra za dvojčice, Božica. A zašto nije? Jer je za dječake. Božica usta i kreće ka planini. Kuda ćeš, Božice? Da skupim jagode. Da unesi i nama, ja sam glada. Vi meni niste dali lopte, neću ni ja vama jagode. A ako odemo sa tobom? Uberite sami. Dječaci bace loptu i pojure za Božica. Ti si došao da ukradeš moju zemlju. Ne, ne, ti si došao da ukradeš moju zemlju. Ja ću tebe pobjedim. Ne sviđa mi se ova igra. A to je zato što si djevojčica. Nije. Treba da vratite to u pećinu. Neko ih je sigurno namjerno sakrio. Tebe je samo strah. Nikola cilja u drvo, ali kad povuče obarač, on se ne pokrene. On imitira zvuk pucnjeve. Baš me briga, ova igra je glupa. Ajmo da odemo tamo i nađemo vješticu. Kakva vještica, ljudi, ne postoji vještica. Osim to da oluje napolju. Ali pljusak uvijek brzo prođe. A možda počne opet. I budu se ostali kući zabrinuli džasp. Neće, ajmo da nađemo vješticu. Ajde. Ali moramo biti brzi. Ne želim da kući brinu o nama. Osim toga, nisam ja došao ovdje da lovim vještice. Svi učute, kako bi se skoncentrisali. Čuju se samo muški glasovi, koji dozivaju jedan drugog. Pa to su ljudi. Šta sam vam ja rekao? Pa nema nikakvih vještica. Počemo ni nazad onda. Ne, kad smo ovoliko prešli. Ajmo da vidimo šta se dešava tamo. Ajmo. Sva četvorica odlaze pravo, u pravcu zvukova koje čuju. Drveća oko njih je sve manje i manje. Čujete li vi ikakvu rijeku? Ja, ne. Nija. Ne, nija. Jo, ja čekam, popijem malo vode. I ja. I ja. I ja. Nastavljaju svoj put kroz ogoljeno drveće. Izlaze na veliko polje na kojem očavaju ogromna posičena debla koja leže na zemlji. Ona zna da joj ljudi ne trebaju. I zna da će se sa vremenom zelene stvari opet rasti po njoj. I zečevi lisice će se vratiti. Ali treba će vremena. Čak i za njeno osvetljenje. Ne dok od visova do osnova ne bude sprana i pročišćena tom nevinom, zlom krvlju. I možda će jednog dana dopustiti djeci da se ponovo izveru. 
ako dokážu da znaju kako da odrastu.